Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, and we got Nene Leaks. You remember the whole... <laughs> She was making that type of noise in her facial expressions, saying yours, mine, and ours. Like, yeah. So I'm so glad that she's not on any social media platform talking about her boyfriend, wife, which she is seen or deemed as the mistress. And what is going on with that hair? What were you trying to prove, girl? Are you trying to be illuminated on the low? Oh, with all that gold hair. But I don't understand why you just can't be like Mariah. Make your fuss a couple of times in public and do the rest behind the scenes. You see how we don't hear from Mariah Huck anymore? That means her case has been settled, Nene. And she don't need to disclose anything because I'm pretty sure they have her signature on a non-disclosed type of situation. Okay, so she's going on into the sunset, which you should do. Drop that egg right there. Be single for a while. Get to know yourself again because you always get into it with Claudia. You got into it with. You got into it and still trying to be into it with Candy. Okay, you find no result, resolution in Greg. You remember that? Greg and you, you couldn't stand him for some reason. You said he was being so mean to you, but he was the one that had health problems. You got into it with Portia a long time ago, okay? Then y'all had to come to the meetings of the mind because you didn't have nobody to go to. So y'all made up. You got into it with Wendy Williams, okay? You got into it and keep getting into it. And probably if you got another chance to be on road, you'll be back into it with Kenya. So the common denominator factor, you got into it with Sheree and Kim. Okay, and then Kim again, and then Kim, then Sheree. All right. And the notable person we known you were supposed to have a good friendship with, Cynthia. You lost her as a friend. And we already know you out your mind. Because no sensible woman would be on public social media flouncing, flouncing around somebody else's husband. Okay? But that's what I'm saying. You get into it with everybody because they don't fit in that mode of bowing down to you. Because you even has Apollo and his girlfriend, fiance, whoever she is, at her nightclub or night, uh, what do you call it, lounge or whatever. You had no respect for Phaedra. So, I don't know what to tell you, Nene. It's more so you than anybody else. It's you, baby. It's you. But anyway, Nene is out there. She won't play it like how Mariah played her hand and just go on in the sunset. We know it's, what do you call it, things happening behind the scenes with this lawsuit that Nene has gotten against the organization she was employed by. And she still just won't shut her mouth. She's sending cryptic messages out on Twitter. Let me read you one. She said, just remember, and this was four hours ago, abusers want power over their victims. They want to break you. Most abuse takes place behind closed doors. Hint, this is why you don't know or see everything in the surface. It looks fine, right? Now, my whole thing is that anybody else that's in the, in the world working a 9 to 5, 10 to 7, night shift type of work, or, you know, whatever time frame being an entrepreneur, you work out there. Nene, you are a contractor, meaning you come and do a certain job for the people that you're employed by, and you move on your merry way. Just because they're making 
the money, and I mean a hell of a lot, off of you all, y'all say y'all need to have more. Well, a person that moves in silence and makes a demand more than likely would get it and then some. A person that sits out there in the entertainment world and make waves and make accusations and this, that, and the third for the negative, then you're going to have a lot of people come for your throat, Nene. A lot of people want to just blackball you as you insinuate that they are doing to you. And you feel, and I've always had that stance, that you did nothing wrong. Same thing, you know, we know you got to bring some junk and you got to bring some good ties. Just like Mariah, she didn't care for Claude too much. They were supposed to be best friends. And she definitely didn't like um, Heavenly. But look who really won out. Look who really won out, okay? And I'm like, Nene, it's okay for you to play the villain sometime here and there. But you be on full throttle on each platform you go on. Just like with College Hill just did that video. You thought you were the HBC over there. And the cast really took more so to Big Frida being on the show than you, Nene. You sitting over there picking on a person who already had her black card reneged on. We took it back because she was doing a lot of things that just wasn't kosher. But you could see she wasn't on the same playing field or she was a little off keel with her demeanor and her whole attitude in a sense. It just seemed like she was fragile and she was high as hell. But y'all have to go and look at it for yourself to understand what I'm saying. But you were ready. You were so ready to uplift this girl out of a bedroom that she solely had. Why? Because you wanted it, Nene? I don't understand. Y'all didn't go out the Slim Thug or Slim Big or whatever y'all call him. You didn't go out to his room that he was sharing only with himself. So why would you pick on Stacy? It's crazy. Every show that you're in, every sitcom, well, not sitcom show, but every um, t reality show, you always go in with guns blazing. And you feel like you are the headliner of everything. And you thought you were the HBIC. But even with becoming a leader, you got to know how to lead people. Or they won't follow you. Because that damn show, if you said we're going over this cliff, just have faith. I don't just, I would be like right off the line, sitting to the side, until you come ask me why I'm not in line and ready to go off that cliff. Okay, I'm one of those people that I got to think about a situation. I got to think about it in every parts of this totality because it's not going to work out at the end of all the grand scheme we're trying to make be so big, so bold, and we're going to... Uh, Hunt, well, we're going to inherit so much money from the cake. I got to see where the inside is. I got to look for the cons. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so, I'm one of those people that listen, observe, and then make her decision. Okay? I ain't one of them folks that be saying, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Are you with me? Hell no. Because I see holes all in your plan of action. All right? We need to discuss those before we go a little further. All right? Into that plan of action you're trying to... Uh, activate, but uh, yeah, Nene. I mean, it's, it's, you're getting to be very tiring, annoying, and you really just need to be silent. I'm, I'm just tired, just tired of hearing you in social media. You know about they're being so unfair, they're being so this, that, and the third. Well, Nene, dear heart, you can go work somewhere else because one thing about it, the Lord got to come in and handle this racism and discrimination because we have failed as human beings. We have failed it miserably. So my whole thing is, what is your end game, babe? What is your end game? When are you going to stop protesting, thinking you're doing it for the many masses of women, black women, uh, people of color women? When you're really doing it for yourself, okay? You want to sue this entity because you felt they had mistreated you there. Even though you were getting a paycheck. Even though you could have went somewhere else to work. But I see you don't got lazy. You don't want to work. You don't want to work an admirable job, a professional job. 
You want to stay in reality, miss, but you want them to pay you like you are a professional. Last time I checked, you were not a real actress. Mm-mm. You ain't went to school for it. We don't see you uh, being on TV shows, sitcom shows, because these people have to remember lines. Maybe you need to go hook up with Candy and Cynthia because they're both into acting now, where the real money is. Reality shows just gives you a take in what the big picture can be. You know, being featured in those them films, okay? Not just plays, but films on your big screen. But what are you going to give us, Nene? To show us how evil, how bullified you can be? How one side thinking you can be? I mean, I roll for you, but girl, when you be turning it out in Atlanta, not wanting to speak to folks, you don't want them near you unless they're another celebrity. Oh, I'm like, uh uh, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. You're doing just simply too much. Okay? So, like I said, we have yet to hear about this thing about his wife suing you, Nene. It's, it's went kind of dry. What's up with that? We wants to know. Because we know you're hired only to be the catalyst that starts the bullshit. Okay? We know you are playing in that realm of being when you're on a reality show. Because I thought when I watched College Hill, I thought you were going to be somebody that was there for the younger generation you're going to give great advice on how they can get through certain things but all the thing you were doing was sitting there trying to feel out how you can get stacy dash out of that room because maybe just maybe you wanted that room yourself instead of you playing the same role that you played trying to get stacy out of that room why you didn't play it with slim thug why you didn't play it with him they got the same thing, only they different. They're two different genders. But you didn't play that game with him. Because you know you probably would have got cussed out. Man style. So you didn't want to fool with Slim Thug. And we don't even want to talk about Ray J. Ray J didn't really care where he laid his head. Just as long as he laid his head somewhere. It could have been out, out there by the pool. Hell, if he could lay on uh, in the pool water without drowning, he probably would have... Uh, did that one too because he was just a clown on the show so we see why they wanted him a part of the cast mm -hmm. it keeps things lively keep things going keep the theatrics going but no Nene you came off just being bullified meanie like you were part of mean girls club or something and if everything don't falls around you and your liking then you have a problem with it Somebody's being racist. You remember? She, uh, Mariah, she was trying to wait on her letter to see if she's going to get back on another season. All right. Then, you know, she made a point that, hey, they fired her on the show that she presented and pitched to them earlier on. And she wasn't going to have it, but she played it smart, Nene. She said just as much as she said, as little as she said in the social media realm. Then when things start to. Uh, get traction and things are moving into the what that things are moving towards the way she wants them to go where she's actually being listened to about her plight with what they did to her all this was not shown on social media so I'm like what what the hell is going on with you here you go again out here putting stuff out and people, your stands, your your faithful few or faithful men, however you want to look at it, are sitting there co-signing with you. Instead of them telling you, get the hell off social media with your private things. And that is a private situation. Because I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to talk about the ins and the outs, the comings and goings, and what y'all settled for. But see, your behind, not only are you wanting to get as much money from the organization you want the organization to still employ you as well as having opportunity outside of the uh, the platform you were once part of and i ain't gonna lie they probably do have a large connection of people 
far as getting other artists jobs in the entertainment field they probably do have a lot of say when they're asking you what about this person should we bring them on you know to start a pilot show we're you know getting ready to bring out to the masses and i'm saying they got to say well look and see what she said about us now i'm not going to deter you and i'm not going to uh say i'm for her but look at what she does and what she has done to our organization you know putting out these uh we call it pleas of trying to listen to her and make a decision on bringing her back to the fold but she don't say it this that and the third about people we do like that are a part of our team she's throwing salt at anybody and everybody she can get a hold to is this somebody you want to be a part of and your to have them a part of your organization and that's all they could have said and then they will have to do their due diligence go look at all the evidence uh that the party had said that they got into it with nene about and then see how she's staring out in social media and if they feel the same way what you think gonna happen you're not gonna work you're not gonna be allowed to be on certain platforms only because they saw how you did them now some of uh nene's complaints were justified but they can be justified on just about every other people's jobs too even the professional jobs even the lower class jobs as y'all might look at them you still got it it ain't going nowhere it's like a cancer you can't seem to cut out and bring some peace and harmony into the world you can't own somebody else's shit nene and then cry foul when they don't treat you right but you don't talk bad about them and you saying things are still allowed to happen towards people of color there when did it ever stop when did it ever stop nene but that's all i got for this video guys i was just trying to see and try to understand even though it ain't none of my business don't get me wrong but y'all know i know this hell and when i see something i want to talk about i be like mm, why did she do that so then i'll make a video about it and it's only because i wanted to all right that's it i ain't trying to get in these ladies pockets i'm not trying to forth throw anything out there that's going to make them not or speak anything out there that's going to come back negative for them i'm just trying to figure out this i'm just trying to make it logical because it don't seem like it's logical it's illogical the way she's moving out here in these streets messing with a married man okay then she's totally tearing everybody to boycott the people that she is trying to get money from and if anything come back to the show now is that a double-minded person then what is but that's all i got for this video guys y'all like love it gotta have more y'all know what to do share like comment and subscribe to the channel bye bye